Hey guys, it is week five, I think, of art. And first I have to apologize for getting this video up late. Um, my grandparents were visiting me this weekend when I normally film and prep lessons. And so it's just late, I'm sorry. Um, but hopefully you'll forgive me. This week we're gonna be doing something called Surrealist Collage. And Surrealist Collages are probably something you've never done before. It's actually something that I've never really dealt with before either, but I came across it with my sister this week and it was just super interesting. So we're gonna try it together, okay? So surrealism is kind of a wacky um, art like form um, and it pushes a lot of boundaries when it comes to what normally would happen in the world. And I don't know, I know that doesn't make any sense, but um, a lot of examples are in the Google Classroom, so check those out and you might understand what I'm talking about. Um, but it pushes a lot of boundaries in terms of perspective and, you know, humans with weird things for their heads or animals with human heads and just that kind of stuff is just really wacky and weird. And so um, I'm really excited to see where your imagination takes you this week. Um, and so don't forget to get your collages turned in by Saturday so you can get um, entered into this week's contest, okay? Um, Seriously, I really can't wait to see what you come up with. So, first you're going to go to your art um, packet and find your week 5 Surrealist, surrealist Collage um, papers. And they, it, there's just two pieces of white cardstock paper. Um, that's really all there is. And then you're also going to need to get scissors, glue, um, and then some sort of magazine, newspaper, um, pamphlet, whatever that you have on hand. Just go to your recycling bin and check out what you have. You can use cereal boxes, you can use food boxes, whatever. Um, if you don't have anything like that on hand, you can also just kind of think of what you want your collage to be and then print out those pictures online and cut them out, okay? But for this project, I'm going to be using a National Geographic magazine because um, it has a lot of pictures in it, okay? So that's what I'm using. And if you don't have anything, just print your pictures out, okay? All right, so let's get started. All right, so you know the drill by now. I gave you two pieces of paper, but you only need one. And so get a piece of cardstock paper ready to glue things to. Um, I want your collage to try to fill up as much of this paper as possible. But if it doesn't fill up like every corner, that's totally okay. I know you guys are limited to what kind of magazines you have on hand. So I'm going to take this National Geographic magazine that has a lot of pictures and I'm just going to flip through first to see, I haven't even looked through, to see what kind of um, pictures I can use. There's one of penguins, uh, there's a guy's face, that would be good, oh an elephant. So you're just going to go through your collage, pick out a couple pictures that you think you can mash together in a collage to make something look kind of not look different but kind of silly and different so oh here's an underwater that would be cool so i'm going to pick out my pictures and then i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to cut them out and put them together okay all right so once i looked through my magazine i just kind of went through and ripped out any page that i thought that was going to maybe be helpful for me. And then I kind of had to get my creative juices flowing as to how to mash them together. So here's, a, I'll just show you examples of the pages that I tore out. So here's one of like a sunrise. It's kind of hard to, wait, let's do this. Boom. All right, here's one of a sunrise. Um, and then this, I thought this was interesting. I could maybe use this like Milky Way sky part up here. Um, I liked this picture because I thought I could use the world or the man. It's pretty cool. Um, a couple pages of like water. So I thought I could use this as maybe like a background for something. A couple pictures of, this is like two pages worth together, but of some fish. And then on the other side, I thought this colorful picture with this man with the gas mask was interesting. And then penguin picture from the beginning and this girl's head I thought would be really cool if I like put something else instead of her head I don't know and then I like a ferris wheel picture and 
more of this kind of skyline with um, windmills. So I'll probably go back and rip out more things, um, but I ripped out kind of what I thought might be helpful for me at the beginning. So I'm going to make a couple collages and then kind of show you the process of making them also. Um, but yeah, you guys have to get really creative with these because it's going to probably push your ideas of art and I don't want you guys to play it safe this week. I want you to get really crazy as long as you're appropriate and CCA, you know, CCA appropriate. Um, I want you guys to really do some creative stuff because I know you have really good ideas um, and this is kind of your opportunity to let your imagination run wild. So. Um, I'll show you guys how I'm going to put these together. So here's the beginning stages of my idea for this collage. So I cut out this Milky Way picture and then I cut out this Waves picture and this girl, like, you know, the top half of this girl. And I think what I'm going to do is have this girl coming out of this water and then her head will be in the sky, in, this, in space. And I think... Um, I'm gonna make instead of her head. I'm gonna put some fish there instead. So let's see how that works. Uh, first, I'm gonna cut out the shape of her head so that I can lay it on these fishes, and it'll be sort of similar to the same um, shape of a regular human's head. So let's do that. Cutting out a little bit of her hair. I know this is so crazy, but you guys, I'm serious. This is a uh, this is how it goes. Okay, now I've removed um, her head from her body, and now I'm going to lay it on these fish like this, and I'm gonna take a pencil. Trace around it. I'm hoping seeing the whole process is going to be helpful for you guys. Um, so if you want to get it, I guess you don't have to watch my entire collage process. But I want you guys to really understand what surrealism is. If you want to know more about what, like the definitions of surrealism is, uh, surrealism, sorry, and see like how it developed, where it came from, and the written instructions that I have in Google Classroom are outlining that. So, okay, I don't need that anymore. All right, oops. Wow, I totally just like drew on the side of my paper. All right, sky, water, girl in the water, and fishes for head. Okay, I'm going to glue this down, and then I'll show you guys the um, finished finish product. Alright, you guys. So, I thought at first I would just cut this out. Um, but I wanted to show you, because this is like real life art, you guys. I was first running with my idea of doing this girl with the fish head and then I just I just didn't like it and I didn't think that it was a good enough example for you guys so I started doing something else and I thought oh, I would just cut this video out but I actually want you guys to see that this is real life art you guys sometimes you're going with an idea and then it just doesn't work out anymore so or you end up not liking it or whatever so I'm gonna do a different idea here we go I have this jungle scene and I have this other guy and I'm gonna try again the this uh, idea of using a weird thing with her person's head so I'll show you guys my next idea but I wanted to show you that sometimes you get through a project and it's just you get part of the way through and you just don't like it anymore and it's okay to restart and I really want you guys to um, learn how to be good artists and to know that restarting is okay and if you don't like what you made just just fix it because you're, it's your creation so I'm gonna make this up for you guys and then I'll show you when I'm done hey right, you guys I'm really showing you every step of the process here um, I got this jungle background and I got this man and I really wanted him to have a ferris wheel for a head for some reason 
and I couldn't find a good picture. The first wheel I had from the magazine was in a full Ferris wheel, so I went and printed one. See? <laughs> so you guys can get super creative. Print pictures if you don't, if they don't have the pictures in the magazine that you like. Um, really, just kind of go for it, guys. So I'm going to cut out my Ferris wheel, and then I'm going to glue it. And then I'll show you my finished um, picture. Alright you guys, so as you can see it was kind of a process to finish my collage. But this is what um, I ended up having. So this man standing in a forest with a ferris wheel for a head. Now this is a pretty simple one and so I think you guys can get a lot more creative. Um, I just didn't have a whole lot of time to do mine today. Because um, I really wanted to get this video out for you guys. And I'm filming this on Monday morning. So, um, I was just trying to do it quickly. But I think that the outcome is pretty interesting. Um, it's definitely surrealist. This is not something that's normal. Um, but it's interesting. And so, it's a good example for you guys. Um, so, I really want to see what you guys can create. Um, as you can see, mine didn't take up my whole paper, but it took up most of my paper. So, that's what I want you guys to see if you can do also. Um, don't forget to turn in your projects by Saturday night so that you guys can get entered into this week's art contest for a coffee gift card. Um, I can't wait to see you guys, what you guys come up with, and I will um, see you on our Zoom calls this week. And I can't wait to make another video for you next week. Bye!